Hi, I'm Drew Claiborne, and in today's tool tip, I'm going to show you how to pair a U-Wave transmitter with a U-Wave receiver. Let's start by looking at the U-Wave transmitter. Each U-Wave transmitter has a unique device ID. This is kind of like a serial number because no two transmitters will have the same ID. This is the number that we're going to enter into the software in a moment. Notice the trailing zeros leading up to the number. We don't have to enter all of those. So the number we're going to enter into the software for this device ID is 42734. Next we're going to launch the U-Wave Pack software. Press Setup Start to begin pairing the transmitter to the receiver. The setup screen is divided into two sections. The top section represents the receiver that is currently plugged in, and the bottom section represents the transmitters that are currently paired to the receiver. To begin adding a transmitter, click the Add button at the upper right hand corner of the window. This is where we enter the transmitter's device ID. Remember, earlier I mentioned that you don't have to enter in all of the zeros leading up to the number. 42734 is our device ID. The channel field will default to the first available channel from the list. To change it, simply click on the down arrow and select the channel that you want. The group ID and band ID are linked to the active receiver. Don't change these. Click OK to continue. A confirmation screen will appear. This means UWave Pack is ready to receive data from the newly added transmitter for the first time. If you're ready to send data from the measuring tool, click Yes. Make sure that your tool is ready to send data and that there's a numeric value on the screen and that it is not in preset mode. Press and hold the Data Send button for about one second. In the UWave Pack software, Notice that the R that was originally next to the transmitter in the status column is now a C, meaning the gauge is connected. If I press the Data Send button on the tool, I can actually see at the bottom of the UAPAC software that the data has been transferred. The transmitter is now connected and we can exit the UAPAC setup. Thanks for watching this week's tool tip. If you have any suggestions for future tips, please enter them into the comments below.